Tuesday, September the 20th, and here are today's top headlines. We're learning more about the man accused of killing a Los Angeles County Sheriff's deputy in Palmdale. Details on two other violent encounters just hours before the fatal shooting. Police answer a key question surrounding the deaths of two models in downtown L.A. Both found days apart, what detectives are saying. Gas prices just keep going up. We're live at one spot in Chinatown. That's now charging. Look at it. Uh, more than seven bucks a gallon. What a bargain. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Supply and demand, baby. Supply and demand. Good morning to you. I'm Chris Shelton. I'm Megan Henderson. Glad you're with us. We'll check your uh, roads with Ginger coming up. It's a little wet out there. Yeah. Kirk is in for Henry. Yeah. The, uh, the drizzle, the rain, very much a part of our uh, forecast this morning as those low clouds and fog are back in place again. It feels like the same forecast we've been talking about is happening all over again. And so, yeah, you walk outside the door this morning, the ground is wet, some drizzle on the windshield, uh, certainly something to be aware of as you head out the door. The road's a little bit slow. Fog and drizzle in our forecast. Orange County, look for a high of 74, 76 in the Inland Empire in the high desert, uh, looking for a high of 81. Uh, will we see some change when it comes to the seven-day forecast? Mm. I'll explain coming up. For now, let's check in with Ginger. All right, good tease. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, some areas where we have a little bit of that drizzle. Uh, downtown L.A., Hollywood, some of those other great spots for sure. So you do have to be uh, prepared for it just in case. You know, dangerous situations sometimes uh, get those the oil starts to come up, right? And then that's when we get those really bad crashes. We have a couple things going on, though, for your drive this morning. So let's take you first to look at that ride, our real-time traffic maps of this 101 South right here at the 110. It does sound like a fairly serious crash, and this was a spot where we had some of that light rain and drizzle, so maybe it was related to it. Uh, still sitting in lanes, but maybe for not much, maybe not for much longer. So hopefully you'll be able to get through this area okay. Both directions, obviously, with the rain, but the southbound side is where the crash is. Then we have another situation on the 134 East if your plans take you into areas of, say, Eagle Rock. Eastbound side at Figueroa, I guess a pole got knocked down or something like that. Perhaps that's also a wet roads related type situation. Well, watch. For now, that drive is still pretty good. All right, guys, back to you. Good to thank you. Gas prices in Southern California still going up. Yeah, the jump overnight, not as high as compared to what we've been seeing over the past three, four, five days, but at least three local counties are now serving up gas at well over, well over $6 per gallon. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live now from Chinatown where it's topped seven bucks at one spot. Carlos, good morning to you. And good morning, uh, Chris and Megan. This is the Chevron gas station on Alameda Street and Cesar Chavez Avenue. Notorious for having some of the highest gas prices in L.A. County today. Obviously, no exception. But you see these numbers, and you got to think, this is just absurd. Close to 8 bucks for regular plus supreme. Painful. you got to feel bad for those drivers who show up here. They're on E, on empty, and then they have no other choice but to fill up here. Take a look at the video here. Obviously, we've been talking about this. Gas prices keep rising in Southern California. In LA County, they surged past $6 per gallon this week in just a few days. Now, as of this morning, the average price for a gallon of gas has reached $6.06. That's the highest since October. A AAA says the cause of the surge is higher global oil prices. There's been oil supply cuts in Saudi Arabia.